Wolfenstein 2. The New Colossus is a 2017 game which is running on the ID Tech 6.1 engine, and these are its minimum system requirements. Before we delve into the video, I want to share that creating this content was quite an adventure because whenever I attempted custom tweaks, the game would crash consistently. However, I've managed to navigate through these challenges. So now let's explore how much performance we can squeeze out of our low-end machines after applying some intriguing graphical tweaks. Let's get started. For this game, I'll be using my dedicated graphics card since the game consistently crashed when I tried launching it with my integrated graphics. I've set the screen resolution to 1080p and all other graphics settings are at their lowest preset. Additionally, I've enabled the resolution scaler and set it to 50%. Now let's see how it performs. The game is surprisingly playable at these settings with very high frame rates. However, if you're experiencing low FPS, don't worry, I'm here to help you out. So now, let's exit the game and look at ways to further improve its performance. The configuration file for this game can be found in your user folder, under your profile, saved games, machine games folder, and then base. Open this file with notepad, a key point to remember. The game restricts customization of its configuration file. Even if you set all values to the lowest, the game keeps your previous settings. I'm not sure why this occurs, it might be an issue unique to my experience. However, don't worry because I've provided a custom configuration file download link in the video description for you to use, so make sure to check it out. And, for now, we won't make any changes here. Now, let's move on to the main tweaks. Now you need to download this file from the description, and after downloading, simply drag and drop it into your game directory. But you might be thinking that what does this file do, basically? This DLL file bypasses the locked console command restrictions and granting access to those locked variables. Now launch the game, and let's begin tweaking. Now you need to Open the console by pressing the tilde key on your keyboard. You can disable shadows by adding R underscore skip shadows and setting its value to 1. This will completely disable the shadows from the game. You can also disable decals by adding R underscore skip decals and setting its value to 1. By the way, I've included download link of everything in the video description. So be sure to check it out. You can also enable the potato preset by adding is underscore MIP bias and setting its value to 15. And this is how your game gonna look like. So that wraps it up for today, guys. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share it with your friends who have low spec PCs so they can also enjoy playing Wolfenstein 2, the new Colossus on their machines. And I'll see you all again in the next video. Until then, take care and bye. Caroline, you still copy? You think they can see I'm fake?